Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. Oh, the presentation I did was uh, generally on uh, the activities of Black Star Alliance uh, over the years uh, because Black Star Alliance has been uh, organizing some very uh, pivotal exhibitions in Ghana and uh, so this was a, a general uh, presentation on um, how we have been um, going about our uh, projects. Uh, Knowing for a fact that um, the gallery system in Ghana is not necessarily as compared to other uh, countries uh, and other spaces, so we um, devise uh, innovative ways in um, dealing with uh, the art uh, world uh, through our exhibitions and our uh, projects. I think everything in life is uh, uh, important to society, so um, what Black Star Lines really aims at doing is to uh, encourage um, artists to engage more with the community. So if we are engage, engaging more with the community, then maybe the relevance of art becomes uh, evident. And so through the activities of uh, uh, maybe exhibitions, uh, symposia or uh, workshops and uh, artist talks and interactions with people in the community, uh, we, we don't only sit in our studios and create work, we also are inspired by our engagement with the public. So in this way our relevance sort of grows. Uh, and that is why we, for example, do our project. We want people to be um, engaging more with art. Uh, and we want art also to be uh, very accessible to a lot of people. And that is why we also encourage practices that do not uh, necessarily... Uh, present art as something that is exclusive uh -huh. it's not it's not something that cuts people away from uh, things in life but rather um, things uh, practices that uh, sort of seem common but are, on a critical look are very important so these are the things that we um, if there's a problem with what is uh, how art is taught in institutions um, I can't speak for all types of institution I can speak maybe for our institution and our department specifically uh, uh, we know I noticed uh, there was a general problem and that is why, for example, Caricature Seidu uh, concentrated on the painting and sculpture uh, curriculum, actually mainly the painting curriculum, and realized that um, we needed uh, certain inputs and so he deliberately started to uh, in interrogate the program uh, critically, theoretically, and so he started uh, introducing people to um, critical thought um, that you question uh, the practice itself that you are engaged in. And so these things sort of are ways in which if there is a problem with it, then uh, we see that there's a, a possible hope for the future. In it. I am Vaben Eli Kempiachi, also known as Craziness Artist. Um, a graduate from the Department of Painting and Sculpture, um, an associate also to most of the activities happening in the department, including the Black Star Line. Well, the most interesting thing I have picked is how I have personally seen the development from um, a student to a non-student and the intergenerational uh, combination of artists in many exhibitions. Uh, I have participated in a lot of exhibitions here, but I didn't um, actually look at it from many of the perspectives, but looking at it now as an audience and not a participant, it's a different impression for me to see um, uh, performing and uh, exhibiting alongside uh, some of the lecturers and some old um, uh, uh, artists from the department. I think that's what I would say, that uh, I just have seen how much the department has grown and uh, I can already envisage what is happening in the next few years to come. Yeah. I'm Jessica Ohimi and I'm a final year student in the Department of Painting and Sculpture here in Kenya I think it was a great one and it was done by Dr. Ake Justin and the presentation was about um, Blaster Lines, um, which is a project space for contemporary art and um, the works we've been doing, which is the um, contemporary art works we've been doing. From the presentation, I think I was very much inspired by Lois' work because she, even though the work was very um, labor intensive, she had done a great work, so I, I was inspired by her. Tech TV, experience educational television.